hello or good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to print a pdf report from a button so we are continuing the development in our module that is hospital management module itself so if i open the patient record you all know we have already added a report here that is a pdf report of patient so if i print that report you can see you will get a pdf report of patient with the patient name and details so in this video what we will do is that we will add a button here right next to the create appointment and what we need is on clicking that button we need to get this pdf report so we will see that in this video so if you haven't watched our previous videos regarding the report we have already contributed the videos like how to create a report how to make changes inside an existing report how to hide report from this print menu etc so if you if you yet you haven't watched those videos and if you feel to watch those you can just go to our channel and you can just take the playlist or to 12 development tutorials and have a look at you will get the all the videos in the sequential orders so let's come back to the topic so first of all we will add a new button here that is print report and on clicking that report we have to get the pdf report so let's do that so first of all i will go to the xml file and i will just add a new button so if I go to the custom folder and if I scroll down, you can see I'm hospital and inside the views folder, I have the patient.xml file. So if I open the patient.xml file, so this is the corresponding form that we are seeing here. That is this, you can see create appointment. And if I check the code, you can see yeah, you have got the create appointment button here. So let's add a new button right after the create appointment. So I'll just add an enter button here and I will create a new button here. That is button. You have to give a name. So I'll give the name as print report and I'll give the type as object. So you all know that there is two types of button that is type equal to object and type equal to action. Type equal to object will call the, calls the Python function whereas type equal to action will call the corresponding record. So we are giving type as object then you have to give a string for the button i'll just give the string as print okay then i'll just give the class oe highlight to get the blue color for that button oe highlight okay that's done so we are done with the xml part then the rest of the things has to be done inside the corresponding python file which holds the model so if i take the models and then to the patient.py where we have got the hospital.patient model this model hospital.patient model then inside that model we have to define this function with the name print report so here i'll just add a new function i'll just add at api multi at api multi diff print report so that's done now inside this function that is inside this print report function we have to write the code to return the report so let's see how we can do that so before writing the code we all know that if you go to the sale order i'll go to the sales and then to the if i open a sale record you can see you have got a print button here so if i click on this print button you can see quotation dot pdf you are getting the pdf report of the quotation so what we will do is that we will see how this coding is done so if i place the mouse over the button you all know that i have already activated the developer mode so if it you haven't activated developer mode either you can activate the developer mode by typing question mark debug equal to in the url or by going into the settings so if i place the mouse over this print button the name of the button is print quotation so let's make a search of print quotation inside the Odoo. so i'll just find in path diff print quotation diff print quotation i'll just change the filtration to the python file so you can see you have got two print quotation one is purchase that's not what we are not referring so we will go to the sales and here you have that function so inside this function you can see i'm not going with this code i'll just copy this line that is the return Control c and i will paste it inside our function that is print report function that we have created right now so that's done i'll just make the integration correct and return self.env 
I'll just remove this with context discard logo chip that's not necessary in our case so I'll just make it in a single line so here we have to mention the ID that is a report tag that is if I go to the report.xml file that we have created earlier report.xml so this is the file so we have to give this ID and copy this ID control C and I will paste it here report patient card and instead of sale you have to specify our own module name that is OM hospital copy and I will just paste it here that is OM hospital dot report underscore patient card dot report action self so you can pass the ID for which you have to print the report so in my case itself if you are printing some other records you can pass that ID inside this report action so I'll just restart the service okay the service has got restarted now I'll go to the UI and I'll just upgrade the module so I'll go to the apps menu and then I'll update the module so from here I'll just upgrade the module so let's wait until the module got upgraded so what we have added is we have added a button inside the XML file that is button name print report type object string is given as print class OE highlight is given then in the corresponding model we have defined a function diff print report and return self dot env of and you have to give the id that is module name dot id this id that's given then dot report action we have got a extra space here i'll just remove that space else we will definitely we will got an error message there so i'll just restart the service and now i will go to the patient's form view let's see whether that button has comes there or not so i'll go to the om automates patient record you can see the print button has got added so let's click on this print report and see what happens so yeah that report is coming i'll click on open and everything is fine you are getting this the report we have earlier printed earlier sorry this is of so i'll just delete that and i will just print a report from here also I'll just open this report and let's compare both the reports so you can see almost both are identical that is same report we are getting one from the print menu on the top of the form one from here and one from here so this is about how you can print a report from a button so just see the code this diff print report equal to, sorry diff print report self return self dot env rough module name dot report name dot report action of self so that's all about this video if you have any queries don't hesitate to ask us you can just directly contact us over the mail id or at gmail.com or you can just connect over us over the social medias that's all fine also if you feel the channel is helpful for you you can just refer the channel to your colleagues so that we can reach more peoples so that's all about this video thank you